Uh, if you are able, please stand up and sing praises to the Lord.
The Lord has told you that revival had begun, and He's going to expand His work. So you need to discern what the will of God is, and strengthen your prayers. When you listen to God's voice and obey it, and when you walk in His word, you will see the fulfillment of His word and His glory. Said the Lord. In these end times, the Lord is going to use the work of Children's Care Center. I will use that work as a fortress to protect His people uh, from difficulties in these end times. And through this work, He is going to expand His work, His whole work, said the Lord. Now, let's sing one more place. Clap our hands to the Lord. Please be seated. Let us have a time of offerings. Let us have Pastor Daniel Osige of FRA Church pray to give thanks to God for the offerings. Hallelujah. We thank you. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for thank you for your love. Thank you for blessing this Tokyo Charismatic meeting. And thank, thank you for putting your hand of blessing upon each of those who are here. I pray for you to remember those who are being hospitalized. And I pray that you will manifest your miraculous healing for them. We believe that you will do that. And we have just offered our offerings unto you. We pray for you to sanctify them and use them for the work of your kingdom. We thank you that you will do that. With much thanksgiving, I pray this prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, We will have the 
vice chairman of a social welfare organization called the Master Seed, gave us a greeting. Good, good evening, everyone. I am, I am in charge of the Office of the Social Welfare Organization, the Master Seed. I'm so glad to see you again. The other day, on June 24th, in Koryama City, Fukushima Prefecture, uh, we had an opening ceremony of a, ch ch a children's care center. Uh, the branch of a Naumon tree. Uh, we had been given a permit by the prefecture to start this children's care center. We are so thankful for your s continuous support. Let me tell you a little bit about this family home, which is a children's care center. In 2011, Pastor Po Akimoto uh, suggested that uh, we should build, establish a children's care center in the north, Jap in the north part of Japan. And for for us, it seemed impossible because we our social welfare organization is located in Okinawa Prefecture, and it was uh, it didn't look very real. It didn't look realistic that we should. Uh, Establish a children's care center in the north part of Japan. And we actually didn't know what to do. And uh, many of us had doubt whether we would be able to collect enough funds for this purpose. But uh, gradually, people around us, they started to understand and they started to cooperate with us. And in the course of it, we established a relationship with Fukushima Prefecture, and we were able to, uh, we were given a piece of land and building in a few years, which is the work that we had, we had imagined that it would take as many as 10 years. And I, I, at this stage, I don't know how we could do all these things. I just believe that all of these things have been done through your prayers, through the support of your prayers. Thank you very much. We have a, now, we are, we are now preparing to receive children in the family, in this family home. And we would like to have a fellowship meeting with them in Okinawa too. With all my heart and with all my soul and with all my strength and with all my knowledge, we'd like to continue to support the children who will come and we'd like to continue loving them. And thank you very much that you, thank you very much for your prayers and I expect you to pray continually for us. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Yeah, we have a time of seminar charismatic seminar by Pastor 
ジェルサイム杉沢オブ川崎東京アンティオクチュラチ Good evening, everyone. Mm. Yeah, today, we, we're going to have the time of the uh, seminar, charismatic seminar concerning uh, uh, prophecy. We are、uh, reading the book uh, of uh, uh, prophecy written by Pastor Paul Akimoto. It's published by the company、uh, Appearance of the Rainbow. Between the Clouds publications. Today we are going to study chapter 11 of this book. First, I'd like to open the Bible in two verses from the Bible. Please open Acts 1, verse 8. I'm going to read. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. And please open Ephesians, a letter to Ephesians. Chapter 1, 22, verses 22 and 23. I'm going to read Ephesians chapter 1, verse 22 and 23. And hath put all things under his feet, and gave him to be the head over all things to the church, which is his body. The fullness of, his, of him that filleth all in all. I'm going to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, please lead this、uh, seminar and、uh, give us the、uh, study according to your word,、uh, to your will. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today, we are going to study the、uh, gifts of uh, uh, miracles. There are、uh, nine、uh, gifts of the Holy Spirit, and this、uh, we have come a long way. Today, we are going to study the gifts of the miracles.、And、through this book, it's written.、Uh, let's go back to the fundamental principles concerning the、uh, study of the gifts.、Uh, prophecy is in the center、uh, among the、uh, Gifts of the Holy Spirit. That's what we can learn from the Bible. And, and nine, nine gifts of the Holy Spirit.、Uh, and uh, there are、uh, principles concerning all those、uh, gifts of the Holy Spirit. And now we open the Bible to Ephesians chapter 1.、Uh, Uh, Acts 1 7. It is the part of、uh, a great commission. Jesus himself gave us the great commission to each one of the believers to proclaim the Christ Jesus.、Mm. It's written in Mark, John, Matthew and uh, uh, Luke. And we opened the Bible,、uh, and we opened Acts 1 uh, uh, 8. In this church of the TLCCC, I'd like to speak、uh, our experiences in this church. And this church was built, started in 1984, and God spoke to, told us to. Uh, to do only the will of God. 
and we responded to that uh, order of God. Therefore, in the work of that church, God told us, God told us that uh, uh, two callings, it's the revival at the end of times and also the work of the end times. These two are the two callings that are given by God to our church. We responded uh, to these callings and we started our church. So uh, we are learning and uh, studying about the gifts of the Holy Spirit and the purpose of these gifts should be clear in our mind and which is the uh, work of the end times and uh, work of the uh, revival in the end times and to fulfill those purposes it is very important and it's a f efficient and uh, uh, powerful weapon is are the gifts of the Holy Spirit and uh, it's very important so please make sure that it is so and among that uh, uh, we opened uh, the Bible to Acts 1.8 the reason is when the Holy Spirit come upon us <coughs> come upon us he shall be witnesses and uh, uh, when God speaks to us and gives us a calling we respond to it and we go forward each one of you uh, is given the great commission by Jesus Christ and that is the calling to uh, calling uh, to each one of you and when we look at these words <coughs> Uh, we have to uh, proclaim Christ himself uh, to others and uh, it, we cannot do that uh, by our own strength and power and so uh, when the Holy Spirit come upon us we receive the power power as a witnesses of Christ Jesus and the uh, uh, power will be manifest uh, through us and one of them is the gifts of the Holy Spirit so these nine uh, gifts, uh, the purpose of these gifts uh, is to proclaim Christ, to uh, convey the message of Jesus Christ to other people. And it's uh, one a tool, a powerful weapon. Uh, it's a powerful weapon uh, in doing that. And at the same time, I said that uh, we're going to uh, study the principles. One principle is, as we use these uh, gifts of the Holy Spirit, mm, we are told many times that uh, church is important. These gifts are given. These gifts are given to the church. And when we think about this, it's written in this book. The church is now, as the uh, Ephesians 1, 22-23 says, it's the body of Christ. And uh, Christ is full uh, in all and all in all. Uh, those believers among you are with Christ. But uh, uh, it has a special meaning because it's, it's the Bible says uh, that it's full of Christ and the head of the church is Christ himself. And Christ is uh, full, full uh, church is full of Christ. So the foundation of our works uh, is in the church. And uh, to uh, do those works uh, gifts are given to the church therefore the gifts are belong to God it will be manifest through each one of us but I want you to remember that it is it belongs to 
God. It works through us, but uh, God is working. So today it's um, gifts of the uh, miracles. Those who are given the gifts of the miracles, uh, miraculous things happen through those people who are given this gift. And when we uh, study about the gifts of the Holy Spirit, we have to remember the important points uh, in uh, using those gifts. Uh, we tend to look at the people, uh, persons, uh, using the uh, gifts of the Spirit. And we don't look at the people, uh, we look at God Himself. And uh, we know how God works through those people. And the foundation is the church. It's very important because the head of the church is Christ Jesus. Therefore, so please remember always that the church is very important and at the same time, and it is uh, for the purpose of proclaiming Christ Jesus and at the same time uh, to do the will of God uh, in the work of our uh, mission. When you do uh, various kinds of works, it's, we have our own uh, plans and our own thinking. But uh, God's will and God's will is very important, and uh, which is best, which is better. Of course, the will of God is uh, better. God does nothing but the very best thing for us. So the gift, uh, will of God, uh, may be, uh, may be uh, uh, very often, uh, this will of God uh, doesn't look, uh, doesn't seem to be uh, the best for us. But if it's God's will, uh, it must be the very best thing for us, because God gives us always the very best thing. So uh, it's uh, uh, great blessings uh, and grace to obey the will of God. To do the will of God, the point is we have the faith uh, to obedience, obeying the voice of the will of God, praying and obeying the will of God. And when we have a fellowship uh, with God, and when we pray, God speaks to us the, uh, the will of God. It's very important to do the will of God. And what I'm saying is, we know the gifts of the Holy Spirit, and these gifts It's important to know that there are such things as gifts of the Holy Spirit. And then we accept and we begin to use those gifts and we grow in it and we will become mature in all those things. And uh, what is important for us is the foundation of the faith to obey uh, to pray and obey to the uh, voice of God. So the foundation is the church in using the gifts of the Holy Spirit. It will be uh, manifest through the church. So the gifts are given to the church and it is the uh, body of Christ and in other parts of the Bible, it says that we are the organs of the gifts of uh, the body of Christ. So we are a certain organ. 
and we function, uh, we have a function in the work of the church, and one of them is the uh, works through the gift of the Holy Spirit. So what is important is, in the church, order is very important. Through church, we do works, and what it means is, uh, we obey the pastors in the church, and also we obey the persons who are uh, given the uh, charge, and we uh, work under the management of the pastor and uh, uh, those uh, people who are uh, set up by the pastor. We study, uh, for example, in this meeting, uh, it's important to use the gifts of the Holy Spirit under the management of the church. So as well as the foundation of uh, the uh, obedience to God, uh, we have to use under the management of the church. So please remember uh, these things. And today uh, we are studying the gifts of the miracles. When we speak about the, uh, when we talk about the mirac uh, miracles, there is a certain confusion. And as Pastor Akimoto is writing in this book, there is the gifts of the miracles. Uh, healing of the eyes, hearts, and other parts of the body is the healing rather than miracles. Recently, uh, there were testimonies were spoken in this TLCCC. Uh, they say that the doctor told, uh, told them that they uh, would die. They won't be healed of their cancer. But God uh, healed them. Uh, but that is not a miracle, uh, but it's a uh, 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 healing category, under the category of uh, uh, healing. But uh, in the miracles, uh, impossible things happen. In Japan, in a uh, person called uh, Carlos Anacondia came to Japan and, op and uh, he changed the uh, ordinary uh, teeth uh, to, uh, to gold and that's a miracle. And another thing is that the uh, dead person was resuscinated. Uh, medically they were uh, dead and they came to uh, they became alive again and that's uh, under the uh, under, under the uh, the category of the miracles and another thing is that you cut off a uh, finger and uh, uh, the finger uh, began to grow again so the gifts of the uh, miracles we know the wonderful uh, gifts and grace of Christ Jesus. And those who know Christ Jesus, and when we receive the gifts of the miracles, and uh, they, their faith will be strengthened. They become uh, very earnest, uh, earnest uh, uh, witnesses of Christ when they experience a miracle. So it works to the in the direction of uh, being sa uh, salvation of uh, people. Uh, after this, we are going to experience, experience the miracles uh, because uh, end the time of the world, uh, end of the world is approaching and God is going to show His glory uh, in the works of the miracles from now on. And it will be uh, manifest 
And uh, those people who are given the gifts of the miracles, uh, through them the works of the miracles will be manifestly uh, appear, uh, manifested. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Thank you very much.